the romance of the rancho. Los Angeles, 1870. Bandits terrorize surrounding ranchos. Los Angeles, 1873. Sheriff's posse forms to combat outlaws. Los Angeles, 1874. Authorities close in on Tiburcio Vasquez. The Title Insurance and Trust Company of Los Angeles presents The Romance of the Ranchos an historically accurate dramatization of the colorful events which make up the background of our Southern California of today. Each week, our wandering vaquero, Frank Graham, returns to give us a picture of the exciting California of yesterday. The Title Insurance and Trust Company of Los Angeles presents these stories because the authentic early history of Southern California is directly related to the service the company renders to the community. Its work is to examine into and verify the ownership of land to the end that when you buy real estate, you know it's yours. To be able to do this, the company must examine the ownership of the land all the way back to the earliest grants, checking on every transfer of its title and on every recorded instrument and legal proceeding that might affect it. By means of its records, the company is able to do this work far more quickly than you as an individual could, and at vastly less cost to you. And by taking extreme care to do the work accurately and completely, the company is able to ensure to you the validity of the title you acquire. Now, here is our wandering vaquero, Frank Graham, to bring us the story. Buenas noches, senoras y señores. Tonight, our story is concerned with one of the most notorious of the bad men of early California. A man whose name has gone down in the annals of California for the one-man war he conducted against the March of Progress. Here, then, is an exciting chapter in the romance of the rancho. <laughs> For several years, in the early 1870s, the name of Tiburcio Vasquez was synonymous with villainy in Southern California. Operating from his hideout of Vasquez Rocks in Mint Canyon, he conducted a reign of terror over the countryside, robbing and looting. He was wanted for murder in the North, and his special hatred was for Americans, said to have stemmed from an incident in which a gringo stole his sweetheart. It was in the spring of 1874, when late one evening, a group of men approached the house of an Italian, Alessandro Repetto, on Rancho Repetto, near the present site of Montebello. I hope you know what you're doing, Tiburcio. It is not necessary for you to hope, Chavez. You just do as I tell you, and all will be well. I uh, see, I suppose so, but I don't like it. These clothes, they smell like the sheep. Tonight you are a sheep herder, and you had better be convinced, or you will answer to me, Tiburcio Vasquez. You know what that means? Uh, caramba, me jefe. I did not mean anything. I, of course I will do what you say. I just do not like the smell. You had better learn to like it pretty quick, eh? See, si, see, si, I feel fine already. <laughs> Good, quiet. Uh, near the hacienda. Nobody say anything, just me. I do the talking, and everybody do as I say, huh? See, si, see, si, we are with you, jefe. <laughs> this, senor, is going to be the neatest trick of my career. See, si, very neat. All right, hombre, quiet. Is it? Senor Repetto, is it not? See, si. who are you? Oh, but the poor sheep herder, Senor Antonio, they call me. These are my friends, and we go to our sheep at the rancho of Diego Sepulveda. Finding it such a long way, we are unable to make it in one day, and we should like a place to sleep for the night, perhaps in your barn, if it would not trouble you, Senor. Otherwise, we should be obliged to sleep on the ground. Very well, go ahead. But mind you, don't strew hay all over the barn. <laughs> and be on your way in the morning. Well, si, si, gracias, gracias, senor. Hey, what is this? What are we doing? You had ears, didn't you? 
They are going to spend the night in Senor Repeto's barn. But, but why? What it is, is not for you to ask questions, Chavez. You seem to forget that more and more lately. I give the orders. You take them. That is all you have to know. See, si, see, si, of course. Hey, fee, but you I only... You stupid ox. Did it ever occur to you that banks are not open at night? That we might need fresh horses for an escape? See, si, see, si, that is right. Ah, you have no brain, Chavez. That is why you will never be anything more than you are. Now, tell us either to have the horses riding behind the barn at dawn tomorrow. Then you shall see the action you want. There they are, eating their breakfast. Repetto and his helpers. <laughs> Quiet, hombres. Remember, you are still sheep herders for a few minutes more. Come quietly. See? Si. Oh, it is you. See, si, senor. We have come to thank you for letting us stay. That is all right. You are uh, no strewn hay, have you? Oh, but no, senor. We have taken good care that everything shall be orderly. Very well. You'll be on your way. What, senor? You would send us away without food? Oh, that is not true, California hospitality. Why, huh? oh, you confounded scoundrel. You expect me to invite you to eat with me? See? Si, get out not? of here, you filthy sheep herder. But we are not sheep herders, senor. What? You get what? the idea, eh? Put up your hands. These little pistols have spoken before. And it is so hard to keep under control. I would not tempt it too much. All right, hombre. Inside, get the others. No, no, no. After you, senor. <laughs> but you can't do this, you... Senor, I not only can, I am doing. You do not seem to realize who I am. I... I don't know. The Bursio Vasquez can do anything, senor. Vasquez? <laughs> Vasquez. No, you have heard of me, eh? I'm getting to be famous, eh? Well, not... Half so famous as I will be, senor. All California will know me well, senor, and you are going to help. All right, line up against the wall, all of you. Hey, keep them covered. But, senor Vasquez, I have no money here. I, I can give you nothing. Oh. No. I see. I, what I say is true. I, I never keep money here. I have nothing to give you. I would gladly give you all I have, but I cannot... Oh, I... senor, your generosity overwhelms me, but I do not want all you have. I want only $800. $800? $800? But I tell you, I, I haven't that much here. I have nothing, a few pesos. But you have money in the Pueblo Bank, see? See. Si. Very well. That will do as well. In fact, I had expected this. Here is a check. You will sign it. Uh, but I... Go ahead, senor. How can you get it from the bank? You, will not... <laughs> you shall see, senor. You shall see. Boy, muchacho, come here. You... You mean me, senor? Si, 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 you, muchacho. You can ride a horse fast, see? Si? Si, you know the way to the bank in Los Angeles, si. eh? I have gone there often with Senor Repeto. Ah, <laughs> si, with Senor Repeto, but this time you will go without Senor Repeto. Here is the check for the money I want. You will take it to the bank and cash it. You will bring the money back here muy pronto. And, muchacho, if you do not. Senor, he is just a boy. You would not harm him. Harm him? Oh, oh, oh. Have I said anything about harming him? I like him. See, he's a nice muchacho. Hey, 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 muchacho, come here. What is your name, eh? Pedro, senor. Oh, Pedro. You like senor Repeto, Pedro? Si, of course. Si, of course. You would not like to see him uh, dead, eh? Oh, no, senor, no. No, then you will return with the money pronto, and you shall speak to no one. No one, you understand? No one in the Pueblo. You uh, just tell the banker, the uh, senor wants you to get the money, then no more. Eh? Si, si. Very well, then, go, hurry. Si, si, I will hurry. <laughs> hey, you cannot mean... You trust the Quiet, boy to... Chavez, hold your tongue. See. I have told you it's not for you to question what I do. See, si, Hefe, but I do not like you it. You never get away with this basket. No? No. We shall see, senor. I think we will. It will not be well for you if we do not, senor. And I should hate to have to harm you. A lot you care about me, Vasquez. You the soon kill me as look at oh, me. Oh, but that is not true, senor. But you are to be big help to me. You mean my eight hundred dollars? See, si, you should feel honored. You are contributing to California, not to me, senor. That's a novel excuse for your banditry. Oh. <sighs> the next time you use such words, it shall not be a slap in the face, senor. The Bursio Vasquez is no bandit. You and your kind cannot understand that. Then what do you call yourself? I am a Californiano, senor, a real Californiano. 
My weak knit countrymen may bow and scrape to you foreigners, but I do not. I will drive all Americanos and people like you out of California. See, and that is what your money will do, senor. So, you think you are a one-man revolution? One day soon you shall not laugh, senor, for when I come back from Mexico with my army, you, all of you, will find the laughs choking in your throats. You're mad, Vasquez. You cannot stop progress. No? No, you can't beat the Americanos. You shall see, senor. You shall see. Well, son, you're here bright and early. What can I do for you? Senor, Senor Alberto, he, the man wishes me to, to get this money for him. The man? Oh, you have a check. <coughs> well, let's see it, son. See, si, senor. Oh, yes, yes, senor Petro's check for eight hundred dollars. Ah, son, this is a mighty big check for a young fella to be cashing. Where'd you get it? He just tell me to get the money, and bring it back. Ah, this is <coughs> kind of irregular. Is senor Petro ill? Oh, come, come, boy. I can't give you all this money without knowing a little more about this. Oh, you needn't be so frightened, my boy. I'm not going to hurt you. But I must know why Senor Petro sent you to get this much money. Why he didn't come himself. Please, Senor, don't ask me. Please, I must not tell. I must you, not. You must not. Huh. Sam, call the sheriff. <laughs> Vasquez, the boy should be back by now. Oh, stop worrying, Chavez. He will come. He had better come where the little pistol is getting nervous, senor. Stop pointing that thing at me, will you, please? I, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, eh? Well, now it's not, not too bad. So inconsiderate of me, eh? <laughs> well, perhaps you will not have to look at it so long, senor. Hey, the signal. The signal has seen someone coming. Go to the window, look. See. Si. Well, who is it? Caramba, it is the boy. He is riding up now. Well, that is good. You will no doubt be happy to hear that, senor. Now, if he has the money, all right, you shall not have to worry. Please, uh, turn that pistol away. The, the boy has to come. You get what you want. Well, when I do, the pistol goes back. All right, Jose. Bring the boy in. <laughs> A neat trick, eh, Shepard? Now, perhaps you will stop worrying about the orders I give you, eh? Uh, but I still do not like it. We shall get the money and go, quickly. Si, si, but there's no hurry. Now, ah, muchacho, <laughs> you are fine boy. Come, you got the money, eh? Si, senor, here it is. Gracias, mi amigo, let me look first. Boom! <laughs> see, it is heavy with gold. Well, what are you looking so frightened for? Your master is quite safe now. Hey, senor, he has been up to something. I can tell. Hey, the least mm -hmm. is trouble. The boy has brought the sheriff. Hurry, to the horses. Come here, you boy. No, senor, no, no. Sorry, stop that. Leave the boy alone. No. There's no time for that. Go. Oh. Ah, muchacho, good work. You are a boy after my own heart. Hasta la vista. Hola, diablo. Give me the saddle, okay? Here they come. But they will never catch us. <laughs> Away, Anthony. Anthony. Listen to that crowd yelling for his head. Yeah. Sheriff, we gotta produce Vasquez and quick. Yeah, he's got him scared with his talk of revolution. Nah, he's getting more audacious every day. He's gotta be stopped. And don't forget, he's wanted for murder up north. Ah, there's a reward of eight thousand dollars for him. I know all that, men. What can I do? Uh, I have to have time. Yeah. But nobody realizes that it half of them people out there are California. That's right, sir. Many of them really sympathize with this Vasquez. Mm -hmm. He'll know every word that was said about him out there in an hour. Mm -hmm. I can't make a move that isn't reported to him. Mm -hmm. It's almost impossible to organize a defense against him when half the population's against me. But you've got to do something. All right, I know it. Sooner or later, his own men will betray him. I can only hope that it's soon. <laughs> Five hundred people, you say, huh? I'm getting to be quite a drawer of crowds, eh? Hey, but, Taffy, they mean business. 
I things are getting too hot. Perhaps you had better take to the hills for a while. Mm. Run from them? No, not Vasquez. Why should I sneak off as though I were afraid of them? I am not afraid of them. I will go when I am ready and feel like it. And before I go, we shall have a great fiesta. See, at the barn at the mouth of the canyon of the Lauras. We shall have a, a fandango and dance the whole night through. What was Travis, I have warned you. Those are my orders. Very well, Hafey, but I do not like it. I, I have a feeling. A feeling that you should go now. Uh, you are playing with danger once too often. <laughs> In the files of the Title Insurance and Trust Company of Los Angeles are 1,600 large volumes called lot books. These are, in effect, an index of every deed, mortgage, decree, or other important uh, proceeding shown by public records to affect any one of the million and a half separate parcels of real estate in Los Angeles County. But matters affecting land ownership consist of more than these recordings relating to particular properties. For example, while a deed may convey a lot, the legal bankruptcy of its owner would be just as effectual in transferring its ownership. Many other matters that relate to persons rather than to individual pieces of property also affect land ownership. Among them are judgments, powers of attorney, and sanity commitments, guardianships and probate proceedings, divorce actions, and property settlements. And so in a different set of books called the General Index, Title Insurance and Trust Company of Los Angeles lists these personal matters. They are indexed by names of people, rather than by particular properties. I will tell you why the general index is probably the most interesting part of the company's title plant later in the program. But now, back to Frank Graham and the rest of our story. As the sheriff and his men continued a vain search for Tiburcio Vasquez, the bandit was spending his last night before leaving for Mexico in a wild fiesta at the barn near the mouth of Laurel Canyon. All of the gang were there with their sweethearts. Long into the night, the merrymaking went on. Hey, hey, Tom, it is getting late. Hey, it's time to go. Chavez, you old long face, the party has just begun. Come, stop looking so sour and join in the fun. But Vasquez, we must leave before dawn. And we need rest. We have a hard trip. Ah, we will have a rest. When the fiesta is over, we'll go to the house of Greek George. And there we shall sleep until dawn. But not until the fiesta is over. But hey... Chavez, those are my orders. If you do not wish to obey them, you do not have to. Lately, you are becoming less useful to me anyway. You frightened too easily. Uh, but, hey, if I did not mean anything. All right, then stop sniveling over leaving. Come on, join the party. Pick yourself a pretty girl. Get a bottle. Si, si. <laughs> Take a lesson from me, amigo. Quick, George. You see how he dances? Hola, George. Where did you learn to dance like that? Driving the cameras? Well, what do you mean, Vasquez? You make joke about my dancing? <laughs> I'm a good dancer, no? <laughs> no, you look like great donkey trying to die. Uh, senor, I do not like for you to make a joke. Uh -huh. Such a hulking brute as you does not deserve to hold such beauty in his arms. <laughs> ah, senorita, why have we not met before? I eh? do not know, senor. Perhaps because you have no eyes in your head. <laughs> so, I like senorita with sharp tongue. It makes the game of taming them much more interesting. You think you can tame me, senor? You think I cannot, my little dog? Uh -huh. I'm fed up. <laughs> well, you, Vargas, she's my girl. You keep your hands off her. <laughs> to imagine that such beauty should look a second time at that hideous face of yours, mi amigo. <laughs> you can forget such thoughts now that she has met me. Stop it. You stay away from her. She's my girl. Oh, wait, donkey. Stop braying. The senorita and I are going to dance, eh? I have not said yes, yes. But you will. Because nobody says no to Vasquez. Vasquez, I warn you, leave her alone. Get out, you swine. Hombre, tell me where. Wait, you... Oh, stop, let go of me. Let go. <laughs> away with the donkey. Let go, I kill him, I tell you, I kill him. Well, you certainly have a way with you. I get what I want, always. Now, senorita, shall we dance? Well, senor, you always get what you want, huh? <laughs> Let go of me, Charbus. 
Let go of me. See, si, see. Si. There, now. Just calm down, mi amigo. You're wasting your anger on him. Yeah, I kill him, so help me, Alar. I kill him. I know you won't, George. You'll be dead before you draw a gun. Mm, it would be a pleasure for to die if I could get him to. Ah, there's no chance of that. You'd better forget it. Forget it? You don't know me. Sooner or later. Uh, I have a better idea. Perhaps I wouldn't have to kill him. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Nothing. Never mind. Senor, where are you going? I'll be right back, senor. You mean you really know where Vasquez is? Sure. I told you his own men would give him up sooner or later. I was right. Greek George told us the whole thing. We're having a fandango at Oral Canyon tonight. He'll come down to sleep at Greek George's house. We'll get him there. Good. Nothing less. When do we start? You'll start right away. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? You know why not. I'd give my right arm to go. Every move I make is watched. He'd be warned in no time. So you'll take charge of the party. There'll be eight of you. You're to assemble one by one at the livery stable. Guns and ammunition are there ready for you. Take a winding route. But get to Greek George's by dawn. Good luck. <laughs> Mitchell, Smith, Rogers, Beard. All right, men. This time we're going to get him. Let's go. Oh, oh. That's Greek George's down there. From here on, we'll have to go carefully, men. Yeah, we're none too early. It's getting light. What's that? Yeah, it looks like a wagon coming down the trail. Back in the shadows, men. We'll stop them. Stop! Stop them, men! All right. All right. Just a couple of Mexicans from the rancho down there. Let them alone. But we'll come into the wagon. It's just the thing we need. What do you mean, Alma? I'll drive her. You and the others get in the back and lie down at the site. We can drive right up the Greek Georges without them suspecting a thing. Come on, let's go! Hey, Fe! Vasquez! Yeah, there, yeah, where you want? Hey, you must hurry. Already it is light. We should have been gone long ago. Yeah, stay in a minute. First, I must have my breakfast. Fire breakfast. I tell you, we must hurry. I do not like this. We should never have come here. But why not, sour face? Hey, where is Greek George? Why is he not here? How should I know? Uh, but he hasn't come back after he left last night. And he was very angry at you. He talked about killing you. And uh, then, then he said very funny things. I couldn't make him out. But he is not back, and I am worried. I probably got drunk because I took his girl. <laughs> oh, he can have her. I do not care much for her. See, but, Heffy, this might be serious. He is loco. Ah, we should be gone. After I eat my breakfast. What, Heffy? Chavez, after I eat my breakfast, Chavez. See, si, see, si, I go fix the horse. I will. What is that? Mm, sound like wagon approaching. Look through the window, you can see. See, maybe it is, but... <laughs> Don't be such a fool, Chavez. Anyone can see it's just a man driving an old wagon. Maybe from neighborhood rancho, huh? Stop worrying. Go fix the horses. See, but hurry, Hefe. All right, Jose, ready with the horses. We leave in a minute. Hey, you sent the others on ahead? See, Chavez. Wait. Oh. Hey, what is that? Look. Look, men, they're surrounding the house. Hey, look, there is Vasquez coming out the window. Hefe! Hefe, run! Run, run, run Hefe! Run under there! Ah, they shot him. Vasquez has fallen. They shot him. See, it is too late. Ah. Right, Jose, right. Run away. Run away. Go on. Run away. Senor Vasquez. Oh, Senor Repetto, you have come to see me. See, si. I have come to tell you that as for our little account, you can settle it with God. Oh, no, no, Senor. I intend to repay you. Now that my plans have gone astray. I do not expect that. But I beg of you, if you ever resume operations, never visit me again. Senor, I am Caballero, with the Caballero's heart. One sorry Caballero you are not, Senor. 
here behind the bars. See? <laughs> I am in quite a fix, eh? Well, why did you do it? Man, nobody seems to understand that. Maybe I am hot-blooded, no lose my temper too much, but I am a Californiano, senor. I love my California. I, I, I see the Americanos come and, and take what is ours, change it to something that is not ours. Well, maybe that is for the best, I cannot say, but I cannot like it. I cannot stand by and see it without pulling up a fight. I'm sorry you've made a mistake, Vasquez. If you had to work with the Americanos, you could have done much for California. See, see, perhaps that I cannot say. But perhaps you people remember that I love California. They will not think so badly of me, eh? Maybe not, senor. For the sake of your memory, I hope not. No? Oh, you must go? Si. Oh, but wait. Wait, come here, senor. Uh, senor Repetto, here is gold watch. I, <laughs> see, I take it from Americano engineer. Uh, you find his name on the back. Si. Please, senor, please. You give it back to him. Maybe he can make it work. I, I cannot. And besides, senor, where I will be, I, I do not think I will need a watch, eh? Do not like to hear you say that. Oh, well. See, si, senor, I, I will give it to him. Gracias, senor. No. Hasta la vista. No. No, no, senor, not hasta la vista. <laughs> Adios. You know, senor, I think this is one time when Vasquez will not have his own way. And Tiburcio Vasquez was right. At last, his career of crime was finished. He was taken to San Jose, tried for murder, and hanged. Thus ended a vivid, stormy chapter in the story of early California. A chapter rich in the romance of the ranchos. Frank Graham will have a great story for you next week. He'll tell you a little about it in just a moment. A few minutes ago, I told you how Title Insurance and Trust Company maintains a general index in which are listed matters which may affect land ownership, but relating to persons rather than to individual pieces of property. In that index at present are the names of more than a million and a half persons Many of these people do not own any real estate and perhaps never will. But in case they ever do, certain things that have happened to them may affect the title to land acquired by them, and so the company must keep this mass of information posted in its general index. Much of the personal history of people is reflected in the entries under the names in the index. Hence, there is a fascination in the tracing of land titles through the past if the examiner visualizes the human stories behind the facts. For example, the life of Pio Pico, last Mexican governor of California, is reflected in 25 entries in the general index since 1850. The earlier ones show him actively conveying and mortgaging valuable lands and giving powers of attorney. Later, the fading of his fortunes is seen in an action to restrain a foreclosure of sale of property he had borrowed money on. The last posting in 1895 reveals his death and the probate of his estate. And now, Frank, what's the story for next week? Next week, we'll tell you the story of Rancho San Vicente y Santa Monica and the Boca de Santa Monica and of the lifelong fight that a gallant California put up for his land. You won't want to miss it. And so, until then, this is your wandering vaquero, Frank Graham, saying, Hasta la vista, señoras y señores. Romance of the Ranchos, a presentation of the Title Insurance and Trust Company of Los Angeles, featuring Frank Graham as the wandering vaquero, is dramatized by John Dunkel and produced by Ted Bliss, with special arrangements by Irwin Yo. Bob Lamont speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>